Hey guys, just going to do a just a quick update video on what I'm actually building and this is probably more of a product review than anything and a quick how to on how to use this product. Um, what I want to show you is a product that I'm really happy using um, and as you know if I don't like the product I'm not going to do a review on it but because of this product I do really like and I love this product is I'm going to do a review on it. Um, it's the Deluxe Materials Pin Flow. There you go. It's a solvent glue applicator. So if you want to read it, I mean, be my guest. You can easily pause this video and just have a quick read. Um, and then just some, there you go, just how to use it. Step one is something that I don't really do because of the glue that I use. Um, I, I sort of run MEK and Tetra through these, um, this applicator. But you can use Timmy Extra Thin and the new quick drying to me extra thin um, I have had a test run with my mates on my mates workbench just to try it and it does run run through without a hitch um, there's no problems at all and then just on the back there's just some safety instructions on how to use it it's in multi-language I mean it's like four different languages Italian um, don't know what SV is uh, but yeah, English, Dutch, uh, German, yeah, German, Italian, and whatever that one is. So if you do know what that one is, just comment down below because yeah, I have no idea. But I don't want to sound stupid. Just trying to say what it's something that it's not. Okay, so I'm not going to open this one because this is my spare backup one, just in case the one that I am currently using breaks. Because it is a glass tube and it can be fragile if you knock it the wrong way. So we've got one opened here, and we've got one that I currently use, and this is how I stand it up. I've just got a little thing that I don't even use anymore, and I just sort of rest it on there when I'm using it, just to keep the glue pointing down towards the feed end. And that's it, guys. It's basically you take the end off, and you stick the finger, or stick your fingertip on the end to keep the suction in, and dip it in whatever glue you're using. And in this case, I'm using... EDF simply glues MEK and as I do know it is toxic I have had comments below it's like I shouldn't be using this and it's toxic for your health and and all that but this way using this there's no spillage it's yeah that's I'm not it's pretty low chance I'll be getting this on my hands and because I haven't opened a bottle up and all the fumes are pouring out of the bottle you know I sort of get no toxic fumes coming off this because it's all sort of kept inside but if I bring in closely, you can see it has a very fine tip on the end. It's not sharp, so like I'm not going to prick myself and I'm not going to stab myself with the finger like a hypodermic needle. But it is a hollow point tip, and it's really, really good to use when you're using for like very fine applications of solvent, and you don't want brush marks and that everywhere. Okay, you can probably hear the rain outside. I'm expecting some rain and storms today, so which is good because it's pretty dry here in Australia at the moment um, but I'm going to show you what I'm actually been doing I have been building the Svezda half track um, it's a German heavy rocket launcher the kit number is 3625 and can't show the box because it's on the other side of the bench and it sort of takes up all the screen but that is the picture there of what's on the box art. Obviously, the box art is in colour. Okay, so runs in there like so. All right. So, and what I'm actually currently building are these, the are the rocket sort of things on the side. And the you can see all the parts down here. If I move the camera forward without sort of, you, know, you can see all the multi parts I'm building, and you see that. The parts required that I do have to glue are very small and very delicate. Okay, so you can see it there, if the phone was to focus. And I've left all the the braces. And when I've cut them off the sprue, I've actually left all the, the spreaders or the the um, reinforcement parts that are on the sprue to stop them from breaking and that. So I've actually left them in there and I'm just letting the glue like fully set before I actually like get get the um, zero on cutters in there and cut all the parts and I have numbered 
the parts here, six, five, and yeah, two, and so on, just so I don't sort of um, get them mixed up while I'm gluing. And same with the side brackets here. These ones are eleven, and the ones over here are number twelve. Well, this rain's really coming down. You can hear it. Um, so if I do have to speak a little bit louder, just do excuse me for that. So also I've got these ones here. You can see like these are pretty in-depth builds. Now, just bear with me for a second. I'm gonna shut this door because it's very loud. Okay, still loud because it's actually hammering down. But you can see on this one here that this is what it looks like without the braces in there. I mean, this is quite a busy build. It's taken me a few hours. I did some last night while I was on the hangout with the guys from Spec Mod, and and I was actually on another hangout just before with some of the guys, um, Mickey, Justin. Um, I think who else was on there? Uh, there was someone else and they disappeared, but I can't remember who it was. But um, yeah, so that's the... So now that my cameras are free I can actually make a video, but you can see the braces inside, they're pretty empty in here. And then you've got to put more inside of here, okay. But I actually do have one clipped out and and it's cleaned up and ready to go and for this little part you are going to need some needle nose pliers or tweezers I should say not pliers dumbass but um, yeah, just some tweezers I've just got some manoir needle nose tweezers here um, and you are going to need or for me I am going to need this because the brushes are just it just whacks in too much glue in there and it just makes a big mess so making sure that there is an end which is just gonna make sure which one's which uh, 17 so this is number part 17 and you got to make sure that this is the right way around the way to tell is there's little tabs on the very bottom here can't see them, I don't know if you can see them or not but there are little outriggers on the bottom here which aren't on the top so that's how you know that it's facing the right way according to the instructions okay so so making sure the outriggers are down will be part 14. That gives them quick quick sanding so there is a bit of excess sprue gate on here. Just going to <clears throat> so you can see that there are low there's a little tab on the back in here like a raised panel line. Tab. You can see it, I'm not too sure the camera wants to focus or not, but it's just in the back here, um, in the back here, and that lines up on the edge of this boxing here. So we're just going to pre line that back with glue.
getting the tweezers. Just going to push it in like so. I'm not worried about if it's sitting on there exactly at the moment because we can always just squeeze them down. Just trying to do this in front of a camera, which is quite tricky. This is, yeah, like I said earlier on, this video isn't a build video, or this is just to show you how, um, you know, what kind of tight places you can get in, get into with this applicator. All we're going to do is just going to see if it, if we get a bit of drop. See how the, the glue's beating up like that on the end? It's only because of the heat that's in this room and it's pressurising. But I'll leave this cap on the end just so I can hook it back up on my little holder later on. doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to dab a bit on the end there. I'm going to get my tweezers and I'm going to squeeze it down. And then making sure all these braces in here are sitting in the corner of this brace here because these are all L brackets or L like L brackets on the side here that they've got to sit inside to give them more strength and then all you got to do is once you're happy with it which I'm not I'm just going to give it another touch on the end there and press that down So I'm going to bring the camera in a bit more. Okay, and then all we're going to do is find somewhere easy to insert this. You can see, just, oops. I might take the cap off because the pressure might be building up inside from the humidity in this room. I'm just drawing back. Don't push forward with this thing because what happens is you'll end up blocking the end cap or the tip with soft melted molten styrene then what you got to do is if you use if you're familiar with using um, the, the Revell contact professional to unblock these things you just simply get a lighter a bit of heat and just like heat the tip up and you just watch it like pop out and that's how you clear these things up or every now and then just get it so you can see it just drawing out like so so if you are, just want to get some going again just like that So all we're going to do is just put it in like so and being solvent it just runs down, capillary action just runs straight down that and I'm just going to do one more just to show you guys so just gonna grab our zero and cutters here and this is part number 15 and then you dispose of that because that's now finished and get our sanding stick making sure that there's this long area see there's like on this brace here there's like not much room in the back and there's a long section okay this long section is what you want to point forward okay so same as before just gonna get the needle 
and just touch it just enough to get get it started. Feed it in like so. Give it a squeeze down once again, making sure that they're pointing inside the corners. does anything does protrude a little bit just give it a quick sand back later on once it's all dry and I'm just going to give that a final squeeze on the outside just to make sure and just check that it's all lined up on the inside like so and then finally Gentle squeeze, you don't want to squeeze too hard because you'll probably end up breaking the braces on there. Oops, focus. Okay, so just check, gently squeeze and let that need that to dry. And that is it, guys. That's how easy this thing is to use. If you have ever been curious on how it works, that's it. And just Brilliant for gluing very small, intricate parts like this. Um, or even just gluing things like you know, just aerials and things on your vehicles. Um, I'll just zoom out a little bit. Oops. Yeah, so just anything from just gluing antennas on your vehicles. Um, it's great for getting in you know, like deep inside parts like that that you can't normally get with a brush because the tip's too big or you'll probably end up getting it you know, just all over the place but um, yeah so if you if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down doesn't bother me guys um, and if you're not subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and um, yeah you'll be updated with all the new stuff that comes out from me Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys. Bye bye.